The Three Claims for Validity's approach is like a scaffold for all the content of the research methods textbook. So the three claims are um, frequency claims, association claims, and causal claims. So students learn to classify the kinds of claims they might read into frequency, association, or cause, and to identify the variables in each claim. So those are the three claims. And then the four validities refer to the four validities that most psychological scientists emphasize when they talk about research. So construct validity, internal, external, and statistical. Students learn um, to analyze any study or any claim on each of these four validities, which helps them have a really systematic approach to any research study that they would encounter. The Three Claims for Validities approach helps students in at least two ways, I think. The first way would be it, it provides a scaffold for them to put all their research methods content into. And the second would be that it helps them prioritize which validities they need to be focused on. So because it forms a scaffold, it teaches students that um, no matter what they're learning about, random assignment or concurrent validity or inter-rater reliability, all these little things that seem really separate to them, they all really go into these, these boxes. They're one of the four validities or they help you decide what kind of claim you're testing. And so it helps students to come back in the book. Everything in the book is always returning back to the four validities time and time again, every chapter. The second advantage, I think, is it helps our students become really nuanced and better reasoners because it teaches them that some validities, depending on the claim you're testing, some validities are going to be more important than others. And so students learn to stop saying, well, well, does it have a random sample of the population of the country? You don't care about that if you're doing a, a causal claim. You're testing a causal claim, but you do care about that with a frequency claim. So it teaches our students to balance the priorities.